What's up guys and welcome back to another video where today we're going to do things a little bit different. I'm going to show you an update on the truck and I'm going to be showing you guys my sound system on my main truck right here. The main B. Alright guys, the main reason why I'm doing this video is to show you guys my sound system breakdown. I've had a lot of comments on people who keep asking me on the dimensions of this box and what kind of subwoofers I have, what kind of what kind of amp I have. They keep asking me a bunch of questions and I've been lagging it to answer you guys. So I'm going to be answering all your questions in this video. And if you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down below and I'll try to get back to you. So um, let's get started. I'm going to call my little sister to help me out here so she can hold the camera while I take the measurements. Uh, I did not build this box. A shop around my house built the box. It custom made it for me. I wanted to maximize the airspace with the amount of room we have here. So it's all maxed out here. So I'll show you guys the measurements and let's get started. Kind of cramped up in here, but let's take the measurements. This box measures exactly 56 and one quarter. 56 inches and one quarter long. And then from the top part, it is five inches. Five inches from the top and then from the bottom, nine and three fourths. But this middle part here is not the same. This middle part is obviously to allow this seat to go back. So again, remember this is custom made. So the guy that built it for me, um, asked me if I still wanted to retain my seat or if he just wanted to make it all flush and I decided to go with um, the seat option so I can go ahead and still use this middle seat this middle section measures what is this 16 16 by 16 by 16 and the top portion of this Top portion of this is two and a fourth inch. Two and a fourth inch. The bottom, I, I can't measure the bottom guys, I'm sorry. But it's probably maybe like an inch more, three and a fourth inch. Uh, it is all hollow, it's all connected. Uh, I know they do make some that are cut here and on that side and it's blocked off and then they have each individual subwoofer with its each box. But this is all connected. I don't know the exact uh, cubic inches of air or cubic space of air in here. Maybe one of you can calculate it and let me know. All right, these are the NVX speakers and I did have to add about a 3 4 inch ring of MDF here. I did add this later on. I had this originally with some kickers and I sold the kickers and then I upgraded to the NVX uh, 12 inch subwoofer but these are, I'm not sure how deep they are. I think they're seven inches or something like that. Um, I'm not sure really, but they wouldn't fit unless you had some type of spacer. So I did add the spacer and did carpet it myself. And that way the whole subwoofer fits. It doesn't hit anything in the back. There's still about maybe an inch or two in the back. So it's perfect. Um, and then a lot of you guys asked if the seat here in the back hits. And I'll show you guys right now. There's plenty of leg room and you can put this all the way back. Show the, show the back right here. There's still enough room here and there's plenty of leg room. So that's why I know somebody in the comments asked me like if, um, if this hits because I guess their speaker ripped once from hitting this. And I know also if you want it to be even the extra mile, you want it to go the extra mile, you can actually take this plastic off and the seat is pretty hollow inside so you can actually have a more space for the speaker to work with um, if that's an issue for you but it's never been an issue for me for those of you asking these are the nvx vcw 124s it's two of them so they're 12 inch subwoofers i got them on sonic electronics 
I think that's the cheapest place you can find them at. And maybe that's their name brand once too. So they, at that time, they were $180 each. So 360 for the pair, which is extremely cheap and they bump really good for, for that price. So, all right, I think that's it about the box and the subwoofers. If you have any questions, like I said, make sure to let me know just in case I miss something because I know I'm gonna miss something. Uh, for our amplifier, you can't see it. I'm gonna post a picture here. This is a picture without the seat. Obviously now the seat is covered here, but I had to custom make some mounts here. These are custom made by myself right here. So these are mounts, I carpeted them and everything so that the amp can sit above and not have to be you know, directly on the ground because um, of heat issues, I don't want it to get overheat. I want plenty of air to uh, be able to go down there. Plus, I wanted to run the wires. So I ran all the wires. You can see I made a little, you know, little space here. If you can see that for all my wiring, that way I ran all my wiring from the bottom and there's space, there's a lot of space. You can see that right there. A lot of space in between there. So this is a Hyphonics amp. This is, this is the amp I bought. It's the Hyphonics. Um, it's a 2000 watt. And right now they actually have it on sale, $219. So there you go, there's, there's a model number. So this is the amp that I have powering uh, the speakers. And I also have an epicenter that's, um, you can't see it here, but it's it's under there. Uh, epicenter is really small. So uh, for those paisas that are watching this, you know, we like our paisa music, so we like to listen to to it with some bass so I did have to put that in there all right so for the speakers they are still the stock speakers that came with the truck I, I am going to be changing those in the future but for now they, they still work they're still good I ran all the wiring through the bottom through the front here and out to the front here I'll show you guys excuse the mess here so you can see where it goes all through here and then I drilled you can see the grommet here I drilled a hole down here and then ran it to the engine bay. But you can see how I'm a big perfectionist. Uh, I Tessa taped this to make it look like factory. And then I got my power wire and all my wires right here. Oh, nicely, nicely loomed up. I did run my base knob and my epicenter knob to here. I flush mounted it so it looks like factory. All right, I think the last thing on my system again is the radio. So uh, if you guys remember, I did get an iPad installed in here. I guess I'll uh, show you the system. I can't really show you very well with this camera. A little test. All right, before I get started, let me show you what I'm using, how I'm using the iPad. So I do have a radio back here. This is a Pioneer uh, NVHX390BT. Slides in like that, like that, and I'm gonna use my other hand because I'm right-handed. Just get docs, docs in there, and then you go go on to your music app. All right, so I'm gonna start with my Mexican music first. This is Grupo Codiciado, ni, ni mis padres saben que rollo. So I'm gonna play that, and then um, again. So I'm gonna slowly turn up the bass. The bass is gonna be all the way down, and I'll turn up the epicenter, and you'll see how much it bumps. I do need a new alternator because. You can tell the, the battery dies really quickly if I raise the, the base. So this is gonna be with no base and the epicenter all the way up, okay? And you'll see how much it bumps. So I'm, I'm gonna raise up the volume through here. Okay. And this is bass low. I haven't even touched this one. I'm gonna put it up a little. Alright, so the volume is only like at halfway, and you can probably hear it like two blocks down. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. Alright, 
Hi, for all my rap lovers, I'm gonna play a little bit of English music here for you. Um, I'm just gonna play like a good 10, 15 seconds of it because I don't want to be copyrighted. So I'll play it, I'll raise up the volume. Right now the bass knob is all the way down and then we'll slowly creep up on it. So I'm gonna put it like a uh, uh, volume 20. Your money. So this is without, this is no bass whatsoever, okay, all the way down, okay. I'll slowly creep up on it. When the bass hits again, I'll slowly creep up on it again. Can't really go up too high, you'll, you'll notice my battery right here, and I have a really good battery, I'll show you guys right now which battery I have, but I need a good alternator. So right now, it dropped down to like 14. It was at, keep an eye on that, watch. I'll slowly creep up on the, on the, on the bass knob. Without the bass knob, it's good, but watch. All right, like I said, it's really hard to show you a demo over camera. It doesn't uh, sound the same when I put it on the computer and I listen to it. So uh, if you guys ever catch me on the streets, just let me know and I'll play a little demo for you. So let me show you under the hood real quick, the battery I do have. So I do have a good battery on it. It's just the, it's just the alternator. It's a stock alternator still. Oh, it's a little dirty. So I can make sure I clean it. But it, I do have an excess power. This is probably like a less than two years old. So, um, so I did get an upgraded battery and everything, so that's why it sounds pretty clean, but I do need to upgrade this alternator. It's still the stock one, so as long as I can get a new alternator that gives enough juice over there, then I'll have no problem. And I'm sure my, my, my uh, system will sound a lot cleaner. So that pretty much sums up my system here. For those of you wondering on the update on the project truck here, um, I've been working on it. I've been filling out like I said filling up all these holes so I primered it look at that I'm pretty much done I do have a couple more um, areas that I need to touch up and um, the reason why I haven't filmed this is um first of all the the weather here in California has been like horrible it's been raining every day so I really haven't had much uh, time to work on it plus I work like 12 hour shifts so I don't have time during the week I only have Sundays pretty much to work on it and like I said, it's been raining. Even today, it looks like it's about to rain. So that's why I haven't had much time on it. But nevertheless, um, it's going little by little. I haven't been recording because it's freaking boring. I mean, I hate doing it. Why would I put you guys through, you know, 20 minutes of just me sanding and primering? I'm, I wouldn't even want to watch that. So, uh, but like I said, I got this all smoothed out. Got all that done. The hood, the hood to it. I still need to get it aligned. But I also, again, all, every single little dent. So I want to make sure that this is a show truck by the time I'm done. Make sure I took care of every single little dent. That's pretty much it. So for the next couple weeks, I'll probably still be working on getting all the dents fixed out. Um, I do have a, an appointment with the DMV. I think it's in a couple weeks to start um, getting all the paperwork and everything done to get the truck legal and uh, well street legal that way I can drive it around legally and I won't have a problem other than that um, I'll walk you guys through the process of what it takes to turn a salvage car into it's still gonna be salvage on the title but make sure that it's um, we get we get it registered here in California so um, the truck did come from Texas. I'm not sure if that's gonna be a problem or not, but we'll see. I have uh, my appointment with the DMV, like I said, in a couple weeks. For now, all they ask for is like the pink slip, which I already got, 
they ask for I think receipts of anything that I spent on the truck so far any work I've done and I guess I'm gonna have to pay some fees too so I'm ready to pay all that and I'll, I'll be open with you guys on how much I spent and everything so I think that's it so if you guys have any other questions I guess like regarding my system or the project truck please let me know on the comment section below I'll try my best to answer it if I don't answer it right away I'm probably gonna make a video explaining about it because um like I said the subwoofer for box a lot of people kept asking me about it but um, I thought it'd be best to just show you guys because what's better than show you guys I think that's it so make sure you guys tune in till next time all right